Got it. <laughs> See, this, this is Zach Lewis's having frustration. No. <laughs> <laughs> on Friday to build two tabernacles in different parts of Mo uh, Maputo in bush villages. And today we have purlins, which are the main frame of the roof structure that we have to cut into four meter sections, clean them all, paint them all, and then get all the cab parts ready for delivery tomorrow to be ready for the team to arrive on Friday. And how many tabernacles are you building? This time we're doing two. Before September we'll have done eight. Wow, that's awesome. Lots of fun. <laughs> Okay, so these are the beams that we are painting today. We have to clean them first and then paint them. That is Toby pulling all the stuff out. And we are also welding some of the, I don't even know what to call them, but we're welding those. Thank God for these little kids, they're very helpful. What are tabs? Tabs are basically structures uh it could be in the middle of a field and they attach pillars to it and i'm by by no means am i an expert on this but uh you put beams and you put a roof on it and that's it so a little story i was cutting with the buzz saw or the table saw uh, i'm cutting the metal pillars this is the first time I'm doing that and uh, uh somebody's with the circular saw and the thing just shoots right out so uh yeah yeah it was a it was a miracle thank god uh, no one got hurt there what does the acetone do, do, do for the metal it off so the paint will stick. oh so we're okay just cleaning this so okay paint will not chip away. are you guys going to paint it over here yes right right after this toby has a spray and this is your shop where you basically do all your prep work or until we build a shop just letting us use this space. Wow. So that's why we need to build the tabernacle factory so we can do this and have something set up and easy to work. Do you guys know when the tabernacle factory is going to be up? Well, when we go home, we're going to raise funds to buy the land and build the factory. Oh, awesome. And it won't take much. All it is is a couple containers with a shop us over the top for a roof. You know, container here, container here, and then shop us. So mm -hmm. it's really large. Yeah. And wall it in. Where do they? Where do people send funds for the to help with the tabernacle? Um, to account, it's Toby and Melinda McGill. Account number two nine four five one two nine. Okay. And McGill is M A G I L. Oh, that's why there's corona. Olivia slapped into that bag at first. What is wrong? Yeah, we've got to see how dirty Olivia is. Yeah. Como só fazer? Como? Oh, what? <laughs> okay, so it's the next day, and boy, are we pooped. I don't know how Toby and Melinda do it. It's crazy. But uh, we just wanted to recap in that video. Uh, you're gonna see that we handed out gifts and toys to the boys. So pretty much that's a boys home. Um, unfortunately boys live there because either families can't afford to you know support them or raise them or these boys just don't even have a home. So in part of this video you're gonna see that we handed out gifts to them uh, that Toby and Melinda had packaged together. I believe it was a team in the United States that have donated these toys and just look at their smiles and their faces as they're 
um, receiving Legos for the very first time and cookies and candies and it's something so simple but it makes a huge impact in their lives so thank you Toby and Melinda for allowing us to be a part of that and just being a small part of all the amazing things that you guys are doing here in Mozambique. Uh, also, in the uh, next couple of months, we're going to be helping Toby and Melinda again, hopefully, actually build a tabernacle, and we're going to record that as well, so we're super pumped about that. Thanks for watching this vlog, and stay tuned for the next. If you liked our vlog, click that thumbs up button. If you'd like to see more of our future content, click that subscribe button and that bell, and you'll be notified for our future vlogs. Thanks!